Dr. Tom Inglesby is the director of Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security and joins us now. Doctor, thank you so much. Good to be here. The president said today he wants the country opened by Easter. That's 19 days from now. Is that a realistic goal? So I think it's too soon to say whether where we'll be uh, by Easter, but I think it's going to take at least until Easter to even begin to see the impact of the social distancing measures that have been put in place in the last week. And we've heard the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, say that New York mm -hmm. is going to reach its peak in, in two or three weeks. So we're, this is far from over. Yeah, I do think we're really at the beginning of this epidemic. In Italy, not very long ago, there seemed to be quite a calm and no evidence of cases. And now there are extraordinary numbers of sick people and dying people around the country of Italy. And we can see Washington State and New York are the, the beginning of what could happen in this country, around the country. I, I'm, I'm quite worried that if we release social distancing measures soon, we're going to have a rapid rise in cases. We're not even two weeks into this in terms of the social distancing, and already the discussion has become, well, when can we end it? Is that the right way to look at this crisis? Well, I do understand that even with a week of these measures, there has been incredible economic hardship around the country. And I think it's too soon to say which measure we could let off when. What do you make of the argument that another Great Depression could in itself be a public health crisis? I completely agree with that. Uh, <clears throat> and I think it's really important to think through all of the economic consequences. But at the same time, we have to do the same for what will happen in the absence of any attempts to slow this virus down. We heard the president say that we've never closed down the country like this for the flu. And the flu kills tens of thousands a year. Why is this mm -hmm. different? In a normal flu season, we don't have people overflowing into hospitals. We don't have so many people that we don't have enough ventilators for them. So I think we need to make sure that everyone understands but this is a very unusual event. This does not look like seasonal flu. Dr. Tom Inglesby, thank you so much. Thank you, Norm.